a convoy of food for the starving, finally makes it past the gunmen of Somalia. And Ted Koppel talks with the feuding warlords who say they're ready for the U.S. to bring peace. From ABC News, World News Sunday, here's Forrest Sawyer. Good evening. Even before U.S. troops arrive in Somalia, relief supplies have broken through the month-old siege of the port city of Mogadishu. Planes loaded with food have also landed in the central city of Bardera. But the anarchy in the country continues to make it nearly impossible for relief workers to do their jobs, which means everyone is waiting for the U.S. to arrive. Ted Koppel reports tonight from Mogadishu. Forrest, it's a tough way to learn geography, but when U.S. troops are about to enter an uncertain environment in a strange place, our interest is suddenly seized. We're coming to you tonight from Mogadishu, the capital of Somalia. This port city is on the Indian Ocean, and as we flew in from Kenya this morning, our radar screen identified several large ships sitting just beyond the horizon from Mogadishu. One of them, the helicopter carrier USS Tripoli, with its contingent of Marines on board, was some 35 miles off the coast of Somalia. This is a country where the four horsemen of the apocalypse are on familiar territory. That makes the Marines, expected here any day now, a very desirable alternative. I'm so happy. If the United States have responded and sending a force to Somalia to settle the peace and deliver the food to the need people. His rivals call Ali Ahmed Mohammed a warlord. He calls himself president. Yeah.